Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue the quest for, what is it, the Nameless Village? Yeah, the Nameless Village. Awesome. So we're going to continue this quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do, though, is take that off. Looks pretty dark. And this... Pretty dark in the nameless village. The villagers' stairs are sharp as daggers. What is their intent, I wonder? Tis eerie, but we must needs press on. Here to ask all of me, are you? Guess I'll loot a little bit. Is that person following us? What brings you here? Fancy look at my wares. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Tis good to be busy. Work begets opportunity. Do come again. Hi, I reckon so. Rather more common looking than I'd expect. Let's go over to where the yellow marker is. Hey, all. I take it you're the outsider, my lord mentioned. How do you know to expect you? I couldn't tell you. Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on hill. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. What's up with this village? It's a very strange village. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief master. Is there aught else you care to ask? What do you know of me? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. And your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. 
Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Do you know of the false sovereign Arthur? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? No, that'll be all for now. Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. Legends of Opus. What's that do? I can't use it. Okay. Maybe because I'm not a thief. Oh, just a bunch of rubble there. Guess I can't get in there. Probably because there's rubble behind the door I can't get in there. Is there anything else over here? Let's search around here. If we don't find anything, we'll go back into the village. Because I don't think that's... Yeah. We haven't even completed anything, it doesn't seem like. Whoa, be careful, Mr. Wayne. You don't want to fall into the water down there. That's just leading back to the village, and we're not even in the circle anymore, so... Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Great, then continue to follow me. Some flowers over here. We can always grab those. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I'm sure we will. Oh, we're not even in the circle anymore. Probably nothing around this mansion, to be honest. Probably just wasting time. If I can't find it within the next few minutes i'm gonna cut it and then come back to when i have figured out what to do in this quest because i don't see anything that looks really cool down there Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, explore the village and see if I can't find anything and continue this quest. And as soon as I figure out what to do, I'll bring everybody back. I'll see you all in just a moment. Alrighty, everyone. We're back and I think I have figured out what we need to do. I'm not sure. I picked up a note in this house right here said something about a piece of brass so let's take this one off 
over here, some lady tried to talk to me. I didn't talk to her. I figured I would come back and then we would talk to her together. And also, right over here, there was a ladder. It was like a hole and then a ladder that I found. And we will go down that. I didn't want to go down there just in case it was something that we needed to do. So let's talk to this lady first. Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? Yeah, what's up with this village? It's quite strange. You would know of our village? As you can see, it is a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Do you know somebody named Arthur? Arthur. <laughs> Tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least no one by that name lives here, sir. Well, that's all I needed to know. Thank you. <laughs> As you like, sir. This lady is very interesting. She keeps following me around. See? She, like, runs and follows me around. Really weird. Let's talk to him and see if we can't figure out what's up with the piece of brass. Is there aught else you care to ask? Yeah, I found a note asking about or saying something about a piece of brass. Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? A letter. Oh, you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves' Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Is there aught else you care to ask? Well, you are I no help at all. Take care. Go down the ladder. We shall await you here, Master. Oh, my pawns can't come with me? Oh, great. This will be fun. Oh, shit. Damn bats, man. Jump over here. Oh, okay. So we can't... We can't go on it too much or else it's going to go all the way down. Makes sense. Damn it. Let's go over here. Oh, ow. Okay, so that was not the way to do it. Nope. Damn it. Never going to get through this. I'm garbage. Ooh, no! Get back up there, you fool. What the hell is everybody doing down here? Okay. Any bats? Oh, 
Oh, look at you. Damn leap worms. How are we going to get over there? Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything up top? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Maybe you have to fall through a hole to get over there. Oh, great. Oh, oh. Dude, lady, can you not be over here right now? Oh, that was so close. Kick down that ladder. Maybe we got to come back here eventually. Okay. Now what? Ooh, some chests. Thief clothing. Greetings, uh -huh. Master. Is this where you've been all this while? Do you take care not to stray so far, Nick? Oh, you've a sharp eye. Suppose I ought not to have underestimated you. Sir Arisen. You wonder how I know? For starters, it isn't just me. The entire village recognizes you for what you are, cuz. Not mysterious about it. We've our sources, and that's all I'm saying. But don't worry yourself. I'm actually on your side, in a sense. Can't offer you any help, though. Village code and all that. Still, I suppose... I could give you a bit of advice. If I were you... I tried doing to someone else what I was just doing to you. Know what I mean? I have a hefty wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? So maybe we're not supposed to be in here? Or at least yet? Screw you, worm. What the hell? I'm so confused. This whole video might just be me exploring the nameless village. <laughs> we'll never get out of here. Wait, what was there to examine over here? Okay. Just a random scrag of beast meat. There's got to be something with that door over there. Tis good to be reunited. This calls for a curative. Yes, yes it does. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Is 
Let's go talk to that guy again. Is there aught else you care to ask? I take care of it. Oof. My pack's grown rather heavy. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Maybe what we should do is wait until night. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Maybe um doing that will help. Oh no, I didn't want to go in. I just wanted to activate it. I didn't know if that was activated or not. Rumor has reached my ears and me thinks I ought to share it. It's said there is an illness Paws can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. I'm not interested. So, I think what I'm going to do is sit down and wait and see if maybe that guy will move. No? Still over there, huh? Well, I don't really know what else to do. Let's just erase all of that. Maybe I missed something down here. We'll try one more time down here. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. At least we don't have to go through all those traps or whatever. The challenge. Maybe I missed a key to that door or something. I feel like there's something behind that door that we need to find. What the hell, man? Okay, I know that I did a cut already to try to figure this out the first time, and I thought I really did think that I had it figured out, but I guess not. So I will see everybody in just a second while I try to figure out this quest. Alrighty, we're back, and I think that I have it figured out now. I went all the way back to Vernworth and I went into the catacombs, which you can get like right here in the slums over here. You can enter into the catacombs and I resurrected the traitor that died uh, in the last video. He, he got slung into the water over here. I resurrected him. So hopefully... This will um, continue the quest. If it doesn't, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to mess around with it more and, and try to figure out this quest. This quest is tough. So here's the trader. Let's talk to him. Hopefully this continues the quest line. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? 
You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seems rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. Man, you gotta be kidding me. I was for sure that was what was gonna continue the quest. If I were to give you some advice, it'd be to try doing to someone else what I just did to you. I have a hefty wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? So we need to follow somebody, but I don't know who to follow. I waited around for everybody, essentially, in this village, and everybody just goes to sleep. I'm going to go down into that cave one last time. If I can't figure it out, we're just going to go do something else, like maybe the bow quest or something. So let's go down here. Get on the ladder. Oh, can't see. Yeah, this this quest is quite confusing, if I'm being honest. There's got to be a key or something around to get through that door. I'm missing something. You made it after all. Okay. So, is it I just had to come back at a certain time? Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on, ask away. Well, first off, why did you make it so difficult to find you? This is ridiculous. Uh, but second off, what's with the decoy sovereign? Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is, his real name is Dara. He was one of us, once, but he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? What's with the village, though? Why the secrecy? Why the thievery? And the uh, Well, I don't know if you assassinate people, but I'm going to assume you do. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, Good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? No, I want to know about Dara. For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. 
took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Pilfer's Handbook. Yeah, I can't use it. You've my gratitude. Can I get out this way now? I can. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. I went into this house earlier. Do you take care not to stray so far next time. Okay, so we're going to do another cut. <laughs> Uh, mainly because I'm pretty sure everybody does not care to see the oh run back all the way to Vernworth. We're going to run all the way back to Vernworth, talk to um, Brant, and then after that, I think we're going to go... Oh, we don't have the quest on. I know it was like somewhere in this region with the bow. Uh side quest i want to go over there and then i kind of want to go over to melv and border watch outpost i want to see if there's anything else to do in melv or the border watch um with that all being said i will see everybody in just a moment Alrighty, everyone, we made it back to Vernworth, and we're going to go head over to Captain Brant right away and try to talk to him and let him know what's up with the Nameless City and, oh, what was that guy's name? I forget the uh, imposter arisen or false arisen. Is that Captain Brant right there? I think it is. Time is of the essence. We must needs expose Deesa's plots ere they can come to fruition. Well, let's talk. Come on, fool. Above all. I guess we're just going to wait for him to get to the tavern. You ladies wait for me. And then after this, we're going to do the archer quest. We know where he's heading, so why don't we put... I want to figure out uh, the jadeite orb. I don't even know where to start to look for that one. We're going to put that on right there. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, I have went over to the nameless village and found out more about the false sovereign. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? 
Take a look at this. This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I've no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, your majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Visa. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. See where we need to go. Where is that quest? Ah, uh, there it is, up there. So essentially we just need to take this road straight down and then take a right there. So we'll put a marker. Hmm, I don't know if that's a road or not. I guess we're gonna have to find out. Interesting, but we need to get over there. Before we go any further, though, let's go ahead and grab ourselves out. Some food. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when. Not deposit. Okay, talking about dragon's gaze. Oh, cool! It allows us to find wakestone shards. To the That's actually not a bad thing. Let's grab one of these out. Foremost hospitality, you know where to find me. You seem in fine spirits. Well, take a look while you're here, eh? There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. Arisen, there's a ladder. Oh. Thought maybe a griffin was about to attack. Wonder if anyone will notice if I stay here a bit. The day grows darker with our every step. We shall have to rely on our other senses as the darkness robs us of our sight. I agree. Wolves, faster! My dad's ice will be of any use against it. Do not despair. I'm coming to your aid. Go where your help is needed. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. I think after we level up the archer vocation, we're going to go into the thief vocation. This is where You're soaked. Do you try not to catch cold? Never have I encountered such a strategy. Now that is a surprise. Look there. 
I espy another statue. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. I, I guess. Many thanks. I hope this serves to convey my appreciation. I mean, the 1,200 gold is pretty nice, but didn't really need the potions, I suppose. We're going to go over here. We're going to rest. I don't like to travel at night. I do when I'm exploring on my own. But for recording's sake, it isn't always the best to travel at night. That way people can see. Let's make camp. We'll cook. Man, I really love this cooking animation. That steak looks... Super good. Not gonna lie. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover if we continue on our journey. Get back on the road here. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. I do like that they added buffs to when you rest out in the wilderness. So it gives you incentive to actually camp out. Instead of always resting in an inn or at your house. Grant you roaring flame. That was superb, Arisen. I know I probably should not be fighting all of this stuff. But, I don't know. I like fighting in this game. It's a lot of fun. Except when I'm losing, then it's not fun. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Would anyone care to push? No. It's just a boulder in the road. It's it's really not blocking our path, guys. <laughs> oh, good lordy. This is where that minotaur was that I fought uh, before. Although, I guess the lesson goes, uh, don't bring it big ass enemies into settlements because they kill NPCs. Now I'm not sure if that traitor was a crucial NPC because I really didn't understand that quest line. But at least we got the well quest thought. done. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as goblins, master. Oh, wow, that was no a one shot. Great. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Oh, he's got a helmet on. Ugh, 
Missed him. Nice. Did he fall down? He did. Oh, shit. Not anymore. That was quick. But he's almost dead. Damn. He's getting messed up. Focus. A moment of indecision may spell out doom. Really? Now? Cool, got a level too. Let's go back up here though. Okay, yeah, we can come up and around. I think we were supposed to go this way, but we're already going this way. So maybe we'll put a marker right here. Very well. I shall return. Any further harm to come to you. Trying to get those headshots. Some sometimes it's a little hard because the pawns are in my way or they're using a lightning attack, Lucy. <laughs> and it's hard to see through the, that kind of stuff. Ooh, it's looking really pretty over here. Uh, I bet these are bandits that just disappeared in the front of our eyes. And then wolves appeared. Don't know what that guy was saying, but okay. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Okay, now I'm a little lost. Let's go this way. Some green wash. Where's this guy at? Ah, oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Who? Oh, true to your word, you have come. L let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. Yeah. 
You have my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven make, bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven make, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of Elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true, as if it is all a matter of poise. I admit, I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. Huzzah! What a feat! I, I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead center. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should, I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow of foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought, but how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I'd nearly given up on myself, yet it would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance with this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design, if only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form, but why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. It seems Sir Glendor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. I quite agree. Okay, cool. We got that done. So what we'll do is I will meet everybody over in Melv. Not sure I can get there from here. And I'm not going to explore it to get all the way over there. Even though it's pretty freaking close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back to Vernworth. And then I'm going to take the ox cart over to Melv. And I will pick back up over here and then we'll end the video. So I will see everybody in just a moment. Oh my god. We come back to a dragon attacking Melv. Awesome. <laughs> Ouch. Yes, master. I shall hasten to your aid. Lucy, I need your help. Now I've got you. Holy shit. This is not going well. What is all over it? It looks disgusting. Like pus sacks or something. Might have broken a bone or two. Can't leave Melv to defend itself. 
Lucy, I need some health. It's like spewing pus out of its mouth, too. This thing is disgusting. Do, do we have to kill this dragon? Can we get it to fly away? Something? Get out of there! What the hell are you doing? Let my magic branch you an elemental boon. Yes, hit it, everybody. <laughs> All at the same time. Please, <laughs> thank you. It's almost dead. Yes, Valkyrie, come here. We almost got this dragon dead. I'm saved. Thank you, Arisen. Show yourself. Twas a lesson in determination. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Truly. Let me get that. Sure. You can grab that, Lucy. Visit Mel from time to time. Oh, don't tell me we gotta keep fighting a dragon here. What is with Melv and just getting messed up? Sorry that I brought everybody back as soon as, like, there was a dragon. I, I, I came through this, and I was just getting ready to welcome everybody back, and then a dragon was here. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, what? So, let's talk to the, uh, should we talk to him? Sure. Wasn't sure we'd survive that, but here we are. My thanks for your efforts. A firm resolve has taken root in my heart since we met. I may be past my prime as a fighter, but I can still teach. And if anyone can master this technique, it is you. Go on, humor an old man. Soldier's code. Cool, can we use it? No, we can't. I'm guessing that we need to actually be a fighter or warrior or something like that to use that. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the video right here. And when we come back, we'll explore Melv a little bit. I feel like we're missing a quest here or something. I want to try to romance Ulrika, I think. Um, her or Wilhelmina or whatnot. I don't know. The the lady in the brothel. brothel. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of my plan. That's really why I wanted to come back to Melv is to talk to Ulrika. But then a dragon attacked. So maybe we have a quest here. Uh, we'll check over at the um, checkpoint outpost or whatever it is over there. Or the border outpost. I don't know. It's something. Anyhow, 
With all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.